We're in Belmar, New Jersey on May 31st, 2021 for Memorial Day. I'm just um, catching some footage just to show you guys what's going on at the beach. It's 3 p.m. Yo, how you doing, Israel? I'm gonna switch this back, move this back, so I can like easily move this around. I wanna show you down there. Actually, I'm not in the roadway, I'm like right next to my vehicle. I look at this model. Uh, look at this motorcycle. That's neat to see. It's it's um it's not raining. It's um cloudy. But a lot of people is joining the beach though. Uh, we have um coast cards. Oh, we got a police come up. Uh, 8716 Unit Belmar Police. So I want to make sure I'm um, like not. I had to switch cell phones because my other cell phone wasn't picking up the YouTube s signal, but this phone is. Go figure. That New York. Another New York resident. Yeah, like. We're going to catch the people who are going north on Ocean Avenue. That building on Ocean Avenue on the right, that's Taylor Pavilion. The new one that got built after Superstorm Sandy. Sorry. Got a couple of Jay Walkers. Mm -hmm. 
um, when I was um, traveling through Avon by the sea, they have um, the yellow flags out. But in Belmar, New Jersey, on, on their beach, they have the, the red flags out. To me, what's the difference between the two? Like, what's the, I mean, what's the difference between the two towns? I don't know. We got another New York resident. Oh, oh we got three J Walkers. We got three J Walkers right there. I can't see your comment. I have to go on my other cell phone. Hey John L, are you uh, are you in New Jersey? No, I wish I had the time that I can travel all over Monmouth County today just to show you the different weather patterns, but I can't. I'd rather show you guys like what's going on, on the beach more than anything else. Oh, you're only like 20 to 30 minutes away? Wow. I see, like, beyond, if you look into the ocean right there, you can see some blue sky there. But it's like mostly cloudy. I mean, a lot of traffic, too.
gonna switch this around. Now that now the sun is coming out. See on this side you can actually you can actually see the blue skies more more. I'm gonna like put this up like this to show you guys. Like I said, I'm not a road hazard in any way, shape, or form. Are you you're by Homedale? Cool. We got like more Jaguars than anything else. But if you um if you pass them in a the crosswalk, you can't get a ticket. Go figure. The law should be fair. I think the Jaywalkers sh should be nailed for tickets too, just as well as the um. As the people not yield, yielding to them in a crosswalk. It goes both ways, folks. Later this year, or maybe next year, I'm, I have plans of going cross country. Uh, I would love to go to Courtside, Arizona to, to, to tell you the truth. Oh, look at that truck. Massive lift. And I'm thinking um, buying an old ambulance that can convert to a um, that can convert to a camper. But that even has his own set of issues right there.
Yeah, because right now I'm just I'm starting to look into um, ailments. I mean, like I said, that's a loose plan. So, I mean, when it comes to the ambulance. That, I didn't see the unit number on that one. But Belmar Police. Like right now, I'm just waiting for a Karen to call the police on me. Karen or Darren? That's a police bike. Hello, how you doing, sir? How are you? And that's bike patrol that just came across me. He didn't stop, so. But I'm just waiting for the Karen or Darren to call the police on me. Good, how you doing? Okay, that guy, that kid recognized me. Uh, this is a nice sports car coming up. Oh, that's not a nice car, too. The puppy dog. Like I said, I'm right smack next to my vehicle, and I'm not a a traffic hazard. Actually, because I'm not... Uh... Another cop coming through. Eight seven one six unit.
got two skateboarders. I don't know if I would ever do that on Ocean Avenue with all the cars and everything. Another jaywalker. I'm going to switch positions. Are we going down here? Hey. Yep. In actuality, I have my dash cam rolling too, so in front of my vehicle. That that's like that dash cam video is mostly for like a backup for me if any if anything happens. Gotta love the skateboards, not. Nah. Uh, we got like a dog issue. We got a dog issue going on. So don't pee on my vehicle. <laughs> That's a rolling stop. Got a great smack next to my vehicle. Oh, going back to the jaywalkers and yielding to people in the crosswalk, they say it's all about safety, safety, safety. Okay, that's fine, but the jaywalkers, they need to get tickets too. It has to be even-handed.
Oh, you got airplane with the banner coming. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, we got a couple of flags on the car. Look, they had no helmets on. Where's the police? That's not an electric bike, that's a scooter. They gotta have helmets on. Come across another um, foot patrol. Usually, um, class ones—they're the ones who um, usually um, handle the uh, the foot patrol and the bike patrol. In class two, sometimes. Sun is peeking out now. On Saturday night, I, I I got this on dash cam, but I didn't have I didn't get on my um, video footage on my s cell phone. But I nailed like I nailed like a um, state police um, causing a traffic hazard on Ocean Avenue in front of DJs. So I do have video proof of, of that on my dash cam. I actually stopped. So you causing a traffic jam, sir? He was not happy with that when I said that. But we got a couple of, see? Causing a traffic hazard, jaywalkers.
I'm gonna be honest, I would love to get more video footage like this, like during the summer, but it's hard to do it's hard to do that um because of the heat. This is like perfect weather in, in my opinion. That we got another police officer. I'm just waiting, like I said, I'm just waiting for Karen Darren to call the police on me for for a totally legal behavior. Uh, when I took my trip in um, early May, I didn't really get much video footage um, in the different states that I was in, but I took some pictures along the way. I mean, I was in Pennsylvania, Ohio, um, Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, um, Michigan, then cause actually I um, drove around Lake Michigan, and that was a long trip as it is. But I did took some um, video fo footage in Holland, Michigan, because they were having a tulip festival. They have a lot of nice tulips there. Maybe I can like I can nail all forty eight states. Am I including Hawaii or or Alaska, but But I do, I want to do a cross country trek. Yeah, I had to pick something up for my van in Wisconsin. And if you ever guys went, went to Wisconsin, there's a whole different world up there. It's flat land, it's country. They have a lot of bugs up there too. The front of my van got shredded by bugs. Actually, I took photos of that and I shared those on my personal Facebook page. Not public, but my personal one. And like people were astonished by like what they saw on my front end. And when I was going through by Oshkosh, Oshkosh Lake, and uh, it's like I think they, uh, I think the guy told me they had like um, some sort of bug hatch in the month of May, and I just ran right through it. And it's how, and it's how like rain when when the bugs were hitting my windshield and everything. I didn't know what, what it was at first, but it was bugs.
I'm just giving you some commentary about my trip that I took. Uh, uh, we have another banner plane. Pla pla it's by King University. We got the fishermen out too. The fishermen out here too. They want to catch some fish. Oh, how do you like not having to wear a mask now, everybody? I mean, I, I'm gonna be honest. For me, at first, it was quite strange because I'm so used to wearing masks like inside stores and everything else. It's nice to see uh, smiling faces. Yep. Yep. I wonder if that's the Belmar Paddy Wagon coming up. I should like wave to them. Yeah, it is. It's a Belmar Paddy Wagon. We got to wave. The, actually, the passenger did wave to me. My tripod is squeaky as heck.
Oh shoot, look at this, look at this. Darn, I wish I'd gotten a better film footage of that one. I guess that's a motorcycle trot, I don't know, like, I don't know what you call it. With all this traffic, I don't really see like a lot of people on the beach though. Make sure we on like... I'm gonna be honest, I do have a lot of battery too, so I can like do this the whole day. You can't park there, guy.
Okay, I'm like, I'm doing different commentary about like random things. I, I don't know. When I started to um, do these live streams, I never really had a, like, um, I don't know, a, a script to go by. I mean, actually, I tried it once or twice, a few times, just did, didn't work out. I actually tried to um, limit live streams to 30 minutes or I don't know, a certain time time limit and I don't know. I tried different things to, just to see how, how things went and it just didn't. And I'm gonna be honest, I love to do, I'm gonna be honest, I love to do raw footage like this. and raw commentary. That's an electric bike right there that just that, that just passed by. Well, the reason why I want to do, um, uh, going back to what I was starting before about Courtside, Arizona, is that it's got, it's part of our cross country truck. I just, actually I want to, I would like to go to Courtside, Arizona for the winter and spend like a few months there. It's like the, it's like Courtside, Arizona. It's like the RV world. It's like the center world of the RV world. I think in January they have like a, a big tent. Like they call it the big tent. And they have like a um, lot of RV sales and different, I don't know. You gotta look it up, like the big tent. Courtside, Arizona. It's like a, it's a huge thing. They actually sold a lot of ATVs and things like that. And if you if you guys are worried about like um, paying for stuff out there, like where to park and stuff, they have like a lot of um, BLM land, meaning um, Bureau of Public Bureau of P Bureau of Public Land and actually you can like camp on their land for free I think at the most at two weeks and like I said don't believe me you, you guys can like you can look this up you can look this stuff up like I said you don't have to believe me you can look it up yourself I'm telling you the truth no uh, BL BLM is Bureau of Land Management that's what it is um, a lot of the BL, BLM land is out west. We don't really have like a lot of that land out on the east. Yeah, I started, I started to do like a lot of research into that stuff. And one of the things is that if you want to escape the heat of the summer, um, they recommend to go to higher elevations like Colorado, um, Scottsdale, or, or no, I think Scottsdale, Arizona, because they have the, like the, elevate, the elevations there.
you know what? I should I'm, I'm look up my temperature, my weather app. Like right now, um, Leadville, Leadville, Colorado is um, 46 degrees right now. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Flagstaff is 66. Courtside is 99. Nyland, Nyland, California is where Slab City is. If you know like where, if you know what Slab City is. It's 91 degrees right now. Mount Charleston. I think that's in Nevada. And that's like 70 degrees. So, like, I'm keeping track. Uh, Keeping track of all the um, different weather temperatures in different parts of the country right now for the last several months. Oh, look at the look at the. In Seattle, up in the upper, um, like Oregon and Washington, it mostly rains there <laughs> from what I can gather. Like I said, I have a lot of loose plans in the future for me. I just don't know where where I'm gonna. I have no clue. Just taking, I'm just taking baby steps right now. Because I would love to travel around the country. But my first, but my overall like goal is to go to Courtside, Arizona. I want to experience that during the winter. And maybe in the spring I would go to Nevada. Who knows? Is that a police officer? No, Pennsylvania. That looks like it that looked like an undercover, but no, it's a it's a vehicle, it's a citizen from um, Pennsylvania. Hi, girls. He's jaywalking again. Switch over. Hey, puppy dog. Huh? 
How much does that cost? Oh, we have a legal U-turn right here. Let's get the license plate. Belmar, where were you? Well, going back to Belmar, um, they actually, like within the last couple of years, they added like a lot of um, paid parking. Um, I think one is around, like around Silver Lake, like in front of, I'm just going off of memory right now, so I don't know like what's the name of the lake in front of Taylor Pavilion unless I look it up right now. But there's like certain um, things that they added, like like they they added like certain areas like near the, the ocean front. They added like paid um, parking. They actually have um, articles about it too. And to me, I'm gonna be honest, Belmar, that's a ripoff. Because they have this this whole, because they have this ho this whole front like ocean front like filled with um, paid parking. 
from like 7, I think 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So, so if you go out for dinner or something, like at 5 or 6 p.m. to one of these restaurants that, that's on, not on the ocean, that's on the Ocean Avenue. Yep. Um, I mean, you have to pay for parking. I, I mean, if you're on the ocean side. So everybody wants to go for free parking. So I'm like not ha because it's um it's these like the paid par the added paid parking. It's causing issues for like um the residents of Belmar too. Because they have a, like a, I think a couple of apartment complexes that's near um, these newly installed parking spaces, like within um, they put on like within the last couple of years, and I kind of like, and I kind of like feel bad for the residents that they have to put up with that. Yeah. I'm just giving you tidbits information. Actually, like somebody asked me, like, where do you go to pay parking for Delmar? I'm like, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I think it's. I'm gonna be honest. I think it's through some app they that they um put up. You have to pay through some app. And again, I think that's a government... That's, to me, that's government intrusion because you have to put your information in and everything else. And I know it's like convenient and stuff, but, you, but that's like government gathering up your information. Yeah, the last couple of months I finally broke down with the Easy Pass. Cuz um in order to take my trip I ha had to take some troll or some toll roads <laughs> that that only use um the Easy Pass system. Yeah, I finally broke down on that. Yeah, Courtside, Arizona. Um, they, um, yeah, they have van campers. They have car campers. They have RVs. They have schoolies. Um, schoolies meaning they transform a school bus into a, a like a camper type deal. They, um, they actually, um, they um, transform. Ambulance, old ambulances too. They um, they actually change, they convert them too. That's where I got my idea. That that's where I got my idea about transfer, turn um, converting an ambulance into a camper. Because if you know anything about ambulances, they they are very well made. I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to watch videos anymore on YouTube. I want I want to all the stuff that I see on YouTube. I want to experience it in real life. 
I want, I want, I want to enjoy my life. I want to. I don't want to watch this stuff in, on videos anymore. All these neat places that I, 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 I read or watch about. I want to do. I want. It's like. Uh, like being like a citizen video journalist and like document different stuff throughout the whole country. Right. See, New Jersey is just a um, just a drop in the bucket compared to the rest of the country. I mean, Slob City, you, you, um, actually, you could, like, uh, live there for free, believe it or not. Again, if you don't know anything about Slob City, California, look it up. There's, like, some videos about it on YouTube. And, actually, you can read about it, too. But my home base is always going to be in the state of New Jersey, though. For what lo logistical, um, for issues like that. That's an old-fashioned moped from back in the day. My my biggest thing I don't like is the bugs, because what I experience in um, in Wisconsin and even in Upper Peninsula, Peninsula of Michigan, oh my God, it's like the bugs just swarmed my van. Like, oh. But like, see, New Jersey is gonna be my home base. And I, and I came across, um, actually, I came across this by chance in, te in Tennessee. I think they call it um, the Kentucky Lake. Um, they're actually selling, like, big lots, like, bigger than our, like an RV lot for, like, $50,000. You can have your own extra large RV lot, and you can do anything with it. You can store your, your RV, your trailers, like... You actually can turn it into a rental property for other um, traveling RV people, uh, the community. And I don't know, I, right now, I don't know the name of the, where I'm talking about in Tennessee, but, but it's near like, um, Kentucky, Kentucky Lake. It's a based off of Kentucky Lake, but Kentucky Lake, it, it's a huge thing. It runs almost through, it starts in, um, Kentucky, but and it like runs through almost through Tennessee. Like I said, if don't, you don't have to believe me, you can look it up. Or another thing, or, or, or I might not go on a cross-country truck. I don't know, like... 
because there's so many variables. So many variables. Some people, they still have masks on. That's, in it, that's their priority if they want to wear a mask at this point. Uh, going back to the schoolies, they use all sorts of sizes too. I, I have seen small ones. I've seen big ones. I've seen they they actually they they got the whole inside out and they like um they put sorts of all different things in it. They actually changed the color of the school school schoolies, painted different colors like they you see on different cars and everything. Actually, um, the other week I, I seen a schoolie in Ocean Grove, New Jersey, the other week. And they were just here visiting family. So it was like a pit stop for them. It was like a young couple, a guy and a girl. More power to them, if they can do it at that age. But I didn't have, really have time to take photos of it. I mean, the last few weeks I, I have seen our um, class, I think they call it class B RVs. Class B RVs are like, um, they're va like, oversized vans that turn into RVs like the Sprinter van and I've seen um, Ram Promaster too they transfer them into um, camper vans they change cargo vans into camper vans Oh, we got, got a nice car coming up. Transfer. Look like the clouds are going away right now.
sort of quiet down here. No like action. It's everybody's enjoying themselves. So that's good to hear or good to see. And I'm gonna be honest, it's it's nice not having the Karens and Darrens hassling me over this too, so that's sort of nice. Because the only thing that they do, they just like when the Karens and Darrens get involved or they get they waste um public resources that's what they do Maybe tonight I can get the sunset. I don't know. Bye. No, it's okay. You're okay. It's all okay. Oh, we got a neat vehicle coming up and I'm in the right position to get it. Right, Does anybody know like what's the name of that motorcycle vehicle like I don't like I don't know like what's the official name for that
I hear you on that one. That's why I said there's so many variables. Like, um... That's what I always tell people. I have loo very loose plans. Because <laughs> you just never know what's going to happen. Ooh, we got like traffic jam. That traffic. And the guy in the Corvette was patient. Yeah, wait until July 4th comes. <laughs> I think that's like that's when the patience, so people are not gonna have patience anymore. I'm not kidding either. Come on, we're in New Jersey. <laughs> New Jersey's not quiet. Uh, this person wants to is determined to get a parking spot on, on that side. An illegal U-turn. And he got his spot. I think last year I I took some raw footage, uh, raw f video footage of the um, the jetty down there, with all the boats and everything, people fishing. One of my favorite things to do is to walk on the jetties and just ask people how they're doing, um, like what kind of. Like, if they caught fish or what. I don't know if it was like last summer or the summer before, but they were catching blues left and right. I don't know which because it was the time of the day or it was like 
on the um oh we got there's like the walking patrol right there on Belmar. I think they're class ones. And class ones class ones they don't have guns. And Belmar, they have a woman police chief now named Police Chief Tina Scott. So it's nice to see a woman, a woman in that position for a change. I bet she worked her, she worked her butt off for that one. I know they had a um, big swearing in ceremony for her too at the time. If I'm not mistaken, it happened on a Sunday. But it wasn't, I think, last year or not. It was like within the last two years or so. You're not supposed to have a dog on that side of Ocean Avenue. We had another plane, plane banner coming through. Oh, look at this pickup. That's like tricked out. Another car. I didn't, I didn't have a chance to film any Memorial Day ceremonies or even, even, even if they have parades, I don't know, but I didn't have a chance to do that today. I know at the town of Neptune, they, um, they, Neptune City, they, um, they live stream their um, Memorial Day ceremony that they have every year.
Hold on, time out, stop. Are you class one? For two years now. Congratulations. Good luck with Thank everything. You. Name and badge number. Uh, Callahan, 642. Thank you. So that's Callahan, I think it is, from Belmar. He's on bike patrol. It was nice for him to stop too, so kudos to him. Oh, look at that vehicle. Oh, we got another illegal U-turn. It's, it's gorgeous out right now. It's sunny, it's not too cold, not too hot. Um, it's not rainy. It's not, I mean, there's clouds out right now, but it's not cloudy, cloudy. Yeah, actually can see the blue sky for a change, or for, for the most part. Best of yet, I'm not being hassled by the Karens and Darens of the world that we have today. Yeah, look at that blue sky up there. It's beautiful.
That's right, parking patrol is on, back on. Oh, we got a doom buddy, doom buggy coming up. God, that's the first doom buggy of the season.
it appears there's a small cool breeze coming through now Oof. Sorry about that, folks. Well, this guy's giving out tickets left and right, and he just started. Parking patrol. Oh, he's doing another ticket. <laughs> Maybe not another ticket. He jumped right back in.
he he is stopping again. <laughs> Talking about the the talking about this guy right there. The parking patrol person. Taking him like at least ten minutes to to get from that building to there. Maybe I should like film him, like, no, just like, just film him doing, do, doing his job. Cause it's actually, it's like first amendment protected activity. I'm not saying he's not doing anything wrong, but I don't know, like, he might get hassled by some people. Like right now, they don't even have um, body cams for him. I don't know if that's it. I, th I don't think that's all is in effect at this point. They're like this New Jersey state is giving them like all the towns um, time to get the body cams for it. every single officer that's on that's on the beat. So that means even these guys, they have to have body cams. I don't know, some citizen might flip out on them. So I'm gonna be honest, this, because it looks like the, you have to use an app. Yeah, you have to have an app to, to pay stuff, to pay your parking thing. Some people don't have, like, they don't have, like, a Apple phone or, or those other phones or cell phones. They, that, they have access to apps like that. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, well, what happened to the people who don't have cell phones that have access to apps? I guess you can't park there. And to me, that's BS. I think in the Asbury Park, you actually, they have, um, I don't know, they just have this one kiosk. They have a kiosk for certain zones in that town. Maybe like Belmar should do that, um, do a kiosk system like Asbury Park does. Because, because like I said, I mean, if if they don't have, if they don't have it, if a citizen doesn't have access to apps or, or their cell phone or apps, or their cell phone went went dead or something like during the day or something. That's what I mean. I think they should have a kiosk system. Well, but that's my two cents. Let's go back to here. And maybe Bill Mars listening right now. Get a kiosk system for your parking, your paid parking thing.
Yeah, slap the ticket, Han. It took him at least 10 to 15 minutes to go through one block. Just the, he's way down there. And actually, I'm gonna ask him, why come they don't have a kiosk system? Well, he might not know that, so. Put this up. Oh, my God, we got we almost had a car accident. And the guy pulling in is the one who's wrong. I oh, mean, I wish that they, I wish there was a car accident because I had a video footage of what happened. Because the silver trucker did a legal turn there. Now it's getting chilly, chilly here now.
bags. I'm not stopping. So I just talked to the officer just now. If you saw me, if you saw saw me in the video just now, because they actually um, they did they did have the kiosk system, but they switched over to this system because of COVID. So, and they said, well, what what happens if they don't have access to a app <laughs> or like a smartphone or something? They said, oh, they can actually call some number you can talk to an operator or something like that so you can p pay them okay then i asked them, well what happens if you don't if they have the, people don't have access to cell phones or any like i'm gonna be honest not everybody has access to a cell phone these days believe it or not and he, and he just like looked at me but he was um he was like very friendly in, in everything else i mean he was very professional and, and, and everything else. I mean, he answered my questions. So. But I mean, yeah, that makes sense because of, because of the COVID stuff. But COVID is not gonna be not gonna be around forever either so but they did have a kiosk system at one point but they said but like I said they switched over to this system because of the COVID and I learned something He actually showed me like how he did it too. He said like, I said like, where's your scanner thing? <laughs> so he showed me like it's on top of the roof and they, then he has like a couple computer screens inside and then he has like something to print out the tickets. So, I mean, he, I t I'm gonna be honest. I wanna give this, I wanna give this guy a compliment because very professional and nice. He actually smiled. No, he smiled was very nice. I don't know because I... So, kudos to him. I, I had no issue with this guy at all. Very nice, like I said. I know I'm, I keep repeating myself, but hey, hey, I don't have a problem giving compliments like this, especially when they deserve it. And this is the second year in. He, I I asked him like, does he know who I am? He said, uh, no. And I said, what what year? He said, second. So. And I think, and I think he's a class one. I think, if I'm correct. I just I didn't I wasn't really paying attention to his patch because I I, I was more interested. In, and the answers. But I'm just assuming he's a class one at this point. 
Look at all these jaywalkers. I swear to God, they have a death wish. I swear to God, these jaywalkers, they have a death wish. I mean, it's a state law. You have to yield to people in the crosswalks. But the thing is, the cars don't have to yield to the to jaywalkers, the hell. That's what I mean. They have a death wish, the, these jaywalkers. I don't mean the people in the crosswalks. It's ridiculous. Where's the tickets? It goes up, it goes both ways. It's 5.09. Wow, I've been like live streaming for like a little bit over two hours now. The sun is behind a cloud right now. Oh, we got the doom buggy coming up. The one from before. He need to, he just pulled in. Darn it! I really wanted to get um video more video footage of that doom that doom buggy. So just to let people know that if you don't have access to a smartphone, you you can call a number up, and you can and you can do um, you could um, do paid parking through there. So, but if you without a phone, well, you're out of luck then. <laughs> This for It's getting chilly now. Actually, I can see the screen for for a change. The sun is not on it.
You know, like, what violations I haven't seen yet? People on cell phones, like, driving on their cell, or driving while they're on their cell phones. I haven't seen, like, one of those fractions yet. How are you doing? It's getting chilly. I might be signing off like within the next five to ten minutes because now it's getting chilly and I'm not really dressed for chilly weather. But I just have my flannel, flannel shirt on along with Crocs and shorts and I'm still and I'm chilly. So I'm gonna be signing off definitely for the next I don't know, five to ten within the next five to ten minutes.
Got two viewers. Who's all out there? The two viewers. Do you have any questions before I sign out? And I got three viewers. Do you guys have any questions, comments, shout outs before I sign off? Like within the next like five to 10 minutes, maybe two minutes. Because it's getting chilly out here. Because I am signing off very soon. Look like look like people had an awesome time at Belmar Beach. Nothing crazy, I mean that I know of. Everybody's enjoying their holiday. Cause the last like three to four days it was a complete washout due to the rain. You have all sorts of people, um, families, um, young people, like um, yeah, old people, fishermen, like you have all sorts of people. So, any questions before I sign off? And the best thing, the best thing of, oh my God, look at this car. Holy crap. Oh my God, from Florida. Darn, I didn't get the right angle. Oh, I love to film the different types of cars too. Cause you never know what you gotta get. You never know what you gotta get down here on the Ocean Avenue. Cause I, I, I filmed all sorts of different cars. Regular cars, sports cars, uh, motorcycles, uh, do, that one dune buggy, then that this one, uh, old, I mean, sports car, like, I'm like, a, I'm amazed by the, 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 the types of cars that I came across today. So, so this is Jen Coombs from Time to Choose Jersey Style. I will see everybody on the flip side. Be safe, everybody. Be safe. It's 5.30. I can't tell. It's almost 5 25 p.m in the early evening so be safe everybody be safe happy memorial day 2021